Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I installed the double roller chain on my LS6 liter and I just wanted to talk about this for a second. So this is the spacer that's required to install the oil pump. There's one for this side and there's one for here where the oil passage is. That would be this one here and these are directional. So as you can see when it goes on, it does need to line up correctly. If you put it on the other direction, things don't line up right. So if you do that, you're going to have trouble with the oil hole. Okay, so it's not going to get to the galley properly. Now with this one, I did take a unibit and deburred the inside of this hole and enlarged it ever so slightly just to make sure it is the exact same size as that. Okay, um, so as you can see, it's going to be a perfect fit. Um, now there are some people that talk about spraying this stuff with like copper coat or high tech or put an RTV on it. And I'm going to tell you why it's not necessary. So this is under pressure. So your oil pump has a variable pressure spring in it that will relieve the oil pressure when it gets to a certain number, whether it's 40, 60, 90, whatever the spring is set at. And that's going to be determined by your bearing clearances. So if you have just a hair bit of oil pressure escaping here, all it's going to do is more than likely spray onto here because you've got timing cover here. So if it sprays on your chain, it's not hurting anything. And right now, the only way this really gets lubed is from the oil coming down the crankshaft. So having something that's going to additionally, additionally lubricate the timing chain isn't going to hurt anything. Um, and that's if it even leaks. The, the oil gets into there, into the pump from the pickup tube. And that's where having a good seal is important because that's under suction. Because this is under pressure, even if this has a little bit of a leak, the spring just won't engage, won't disengage, or however you want to look at it. It won't have the pressure in the pump to push the spring in, so it just means the oil pressure is going to build up higher until it gets high enough to release the spring pressure. So as long as this doesn't have a massive hole in it, you're fine. And even if it does, if it's a high volume pump, you're probably fine anyway. Um, and that's why putting an RTV on it or anything like that is just not important. Now, if this was the other way around and this was actually sucking oil in, I would say, yeah, it would be very important. But being that this is the high pressure side, it does not matter. Um, why do you need the spacers? Well, because with a double roller chain, it actually hits the back of the oil pump. Um, let me see if I can slide this on here quick enough to show you that one-handed here because that's where the trouble comes in, right? Trying to do everything one-handed because I can't actually see the... There you go. So as you can see, when I slide it back, I can't get it all the way against the block, okay? Because it's hitting the chain. Can you see that? There you go. So, and that's a problem, right? I mean, if this were to run this way, but with this spacer in here, it spaces things out just far enough to give us a hair bit of clearance. Can you see it? There you go. Just a hair bit of clearance. And that's all you need, okay? So, if there's any questions, post them in the comments, and uh, I'll try to answer them best I can. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.